Welcome back to Close Up. COVID-19 spreads most rapidly in urban areas where people are naturally in closer proximity. In New Hampshire, hotspots are in the cities, including Nashua. Joining us this morning is the mayor of the Gate City, Jim John Donches. Thank you for joining us this morning, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Adam. Good to be with you. And give us a sense right now of the situation on the ground in Nashua. What's going on there? Well, we are, have a whole team working together here in Nashville, and I'm very proud of the Nashville community for the way everybody has come together, our health care providers, the city, city public health, um, everyone, our school department. And what we are doing is working to create physical separation. So we have, of course, the schools are on remote learning, but City Hall is closed. Uh, people are working only remotely. Uh, we have the bus system, uh, uh, the, the larger buses are not running. It's a call for a ride service. And we're providing of essential services uh, only like garbage pickup. Uh, in addition, of course, the governor has issued various orders regarding small businesses, the restaurants, the bars, the hair salons. And, and uh, through everyone, we're reinforcing this idea of physical distancing. And so far, it has had an effect. The number of cases in Nashua is a little over 70, but it's been pretty stable, growing a little bit. Uh, and the, uh, the, the spread seems to have slowed down. And that's very important because we're trying to get by the, the crisis and uh, make sure that we keep our community as safe as possible. And contain the spread of the coronavirus. Proximity to Boston, proximity to Massachusetts has always been one of the economic advantages for Nashua, and that flips this time around because of the proximity to a hot spot of COVID-19. Have you seen much crossover? Do you see people coming over from Massachusetts, for instance, for health care in the Gate City right now? Right now, we seem to be having a different experience than Massachusetts. Uh, we talk with our hospitals every day about their, their, what they call their census, the number of people in the hospital, and the number of people with coronavirus who have tested positive who are in the hospital. Now, right now, there, between our two hospitals, that's Southern New Hampshire Medical Center and St. Joe's, we have about uh, between 10 and 15 coronavirus patients, uh, and they are prepared for many more. And we are also preparing what they call an alternate care site uh, in case there is a hospital spillover. But so far that hasn't come. So far the hospitals still have quite a bit of capacity. There seems to be a different experience down in Lowell and in Massachusetts where the hospitals are, are more a full and deluge with patients. That hasn't happened here yet. Take us through how you're handling and how the state's working on the situation at the Huntington with the long-term care facility where they've, they've had that uh, spate of deaths. Well, we, we talk with the Huntington every day. And as you, as you said, you know, in one of the units, uh, there have been a, a number of cases, 15 or 20 cases. Uh, our public health is working with them. Uh, to track all of the contacts that each of those people has had, and that's true of all, all of the cases in Nashua. Uh, the public health tracks everyone uh, to try to figure out who their contacts have been. Uh, but we're talking with the Huntington every day. The number, the spread of the, of the virus seems to have been contained. Uh, there are, as you said, a, a number of cases. There are some, also some employees at the Huntington who uh, contracted the virus. They're all in quarantine and are being followed by public health. Uh, the Huntington has had some problems filling the staff positions, but they seem to have been successful in making sure that there is enough staff. So certainly we're concerned about every person um, who has this disease. We're concerned for the Huntington and we're concerned for, of course, the families. A few people uh, passed away down at the Huntington. But right now, the, uh, the spread seems to be contained to the number of cases they have. It's been such a struggle nationwide uh, to get PPE, the personal protective equipment. How is that search going in Nashua? Do you feel like your supplies there citywide between those long-term care facilities, the hospitals, does it seem like that's holding up at least for now? So the PPE are personal protective equipment, which our healthcare workers and our first responders need. 
Uh, certainly, uh, there's a shortage, but we've been able to obtain through various sources enough to meet uh, the, the need uh, in the short term. I, it, we're going to need to get more, but we're working on that. Uh, where the biggest frustration is, is in the lack of available testing. Uh, the, the requirements, the uh, criteria for testing are very strict. We really need broader testing, first among our healthcare and hospital uh, uh, employees and, and the patients. Uh, we, need, we need more testing. And then beyond that, we need more testing community-wide so we can judge how many people uh, have, the, have the virus who may not have symptoms, so we can judge how far the, the, the virus has traveled. So that right now, the lack of the, the restrictions on the testing are the, are the biggest frustration. And that testing is going to be necessary in order to reopen things. And you've always been known as a, a business oriented mayor, and that's a community you come out of and been a part of for a long time. What are some benchmarks you're looking for as mayor before you start to even consider relaxing some of those restrictions that are in place? Well, of course, we want to work with the state of New Hampshire on that. And, of course, and the governor has really taken the lead. He's the one with authority to close our businesses. But we want to see the number of new, we want to see people in, you know, getting recovered. We want to see the number of new cases leveling off and going down, the total number of cases being reduced. Uh, and uh, all of those criteria uh, really need to be met. But Again, I go back to the testing. In terms of trying to judge how widespread this is, we really would, it would be extremely helpful in determining when to kind of reopen, if you want to use that simple term. Uh, it would be very helpful to have more testing. It would give us a much, much more comprehensive understanding of where we stand. Uh, right now, the only people who can get tested are those that have very severe symptoms or healthcare workers with symptoms. So uh, that would that would be a big step forward. But Adam, you know, like in Nashua and, and elsewhere around New Hampshire, our small businesses are really hurting because they've closed. And of course that's necessary to contain the spread, but our restaurants, our retail, our uh, hair salons, bars, uh, many service businesses are closed and they, of course, are small business owners need 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 to get open these businesses at their businesses at some point, and we've got a lot of uh, employees who are uh, out of work. So it's been very helpful that the federal delegation has obtained larger unemployment benefits, but we uh, we're working at the local level, and of course, the, there's some national assistance to help the small businesses try to revive and. Uh, get back to uh, uh, their normal operation once the coronavirus crisis has passed. How stark do you think the budget choices are going to be in the months ahead? I know it's early, but do you think there could be a municipal revenue cliff that you're going to hit here? There could be. Uh, we, of course, in New Hampshire, we're very reliant on property taxes. Uh, Nashua is, has a very strong financial position. We're AAA rated. Uh, so, uh, but we want to take, we have a, a pending city budget right now, but we want to be as careful as we can about expenditures so that we can limit uh, the, tax, the tax rate as much as we can. Um, we want people to be able to, uh, of course, pay the taxes, but on the same, at the same time, we want people to, to be able to uh, meet their family expenses and get on with, with life. So I expect there will be a budget impact, but right now it's hard to say exactly what that's going to be. All right, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for your time. Good luck down there in Nashua, and hopefully you can join us here again in studio soon. Well, you see, Adam, that we are doing this remotely. We're working remotely, <laughs> right. and uh, I wanted to do it uh, this way to... It reinforced the message that we should have physical separation, people should stay apart, and uh, help us limit the spread of the coronavirus. Yep, and that'll be the norm for us as well here for a while. Thanks again for your time, Mr. Mayor.